name is Mombi Wanjiro, and with me is the lovely, beautiful, amazing Drumroll. You should be here by now. <laughs> Hi, and my name is Nancy Kianda. Yeah. So Nancy and I are starting a series. We are going to be discussing intimacy, intimacy, sex sexuality the different forms of intimacy different forms of sexuality everything is going to be covered so if you have any questions comments anything you would like us to cover please let us know So, what are the different kinds of intimacy? Uh, the different, okay, first of all, I think we should understand that what intimacy is. Mm -hmm. Intimacy is the closeness or the connection between two people in a relationship. Okay. Any kind of relationship. It could be parent to child, it could be romantic, it could be between friends, it could be between siblings. Mm -hmm. Any kind of relationship we have with someone, there's some level of intimacy that is involved. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, uh, the different forms of intimacy are basically uh, physical, where there's touching, kissing, it's, for instance, mm -hmm. uh, there's petting, caressing, mm -hmm. that is physical, anything that you can do physically. Um, there's spiritual, spiritual in the fact that in terms of what does this person believe in, what are their values, what is it that they are called as a person and mm -hmm. believe in. Mm -hmm. Emotional means feeling, basically, as the word suggests, it's emotional. How does this person express how they feel when they are hurt, when they are happy, when they are joyful, when they are excited? How is it that they express themselves mm -hmm. emotionally? Yeah. They show you their feelings. Then there is um, mental. Mental in terms of their thinking capacity, their ability to accept opinions or give opinions. Their view and expression of different perspectives because we all have different perspectives on certain things. Mm -hmm. So, how is it that this person is able to express that fully and in a way that is, they can be understood? Okay. And then there is uh, also, we said there's physical, there's emotional, there's mental, mm. and there's spiritual. Spiritual. Yeah, the four. So, the, it's a whole lot of subject about intimacy, but today we would like to dwell much on the romantic part of intimacy, part of it. Mm -hmm. So, what do you have to say about that? I think in, in, in any romantic relationship, intimacy is very key. And not just intimacy, because when someone, okay, if I may ask you, when I say intimacy, what is the first thing that comes to your mind? Well, you know. <laughs> okay, the, the, it's the me. connection and you know the caressing part of it and all those so things. It's sexual. Yeah, basically. it's sexual. So most people th uh, think that when I say people, someone was intimate, you imagine people naked. Somehow, yeah. You know, yeah, you need yeah, to have yeah. sex or having sex. Exactly. You know? So most people misunderstand intimacy for having sex, mm -hmm. but sex is not. It's a part of intimacy. Yes, mm -hmm. and there are so many aspects of. Intimacy covered in sex is the mental aspect of it because mm -hmm. for us to be able to have a good sex life, we have it comes from our minds. Like most women, it's basically known that women's sexual desires and expressions come from their minds. Mm -hmm. uh, there's physical, of course, you're touching, you're kissing, you're caressing. Mm -hmm. That is physical. Mm -hmm. There's spiritual. What do you believe in? Mm -hmm. Because people, some people believe it is sinful to have sex. Yeah. <laughs> some people believe it's not. <laughs> and then there. are in sex, there's okay. Sex is also a very broad topic. Mm. There's so many things in sex that people are okay with. So mm. it's you can have sex, but there are things uh, you can do during sex that you think are wrong. Sure. So that is a spiritual aspect because most mostly it's a spiritual belief that makes you feel oh I'm sinning. Yeah, I'm, I'm sinning. Doing wrong. Yeah. But yeah. Mm. And then they in sex there is also. We covered what physical. I said there's physical, physical. there's spiritual, emotional, there's emotional. Mm -hmm. Of course, mm -hmm. of course. Mm -hmm. There's also uh, emotional. How you feel about the person that you're having sex with? Mm -hmm. How you because you do not have sex with someone that you do not feel anything about yeah. before. Mm -hmm. So are you are you in love with this person? How do they make you feel? Mm -hmm. Because for you to be mentally there, yeah. you have to be emotionally there. There. And 
you can be physically there but mentally and you spiritually are, and, and somewhere every else. other aspect you everywhere else you're making love to someone else oh I'm please <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, yeah, so yeah. that is something that Amma, you, you are thinking about what you eat Exactly. Where you get some money. Tomorrow we are traveling. Yeah. I packed my bag. Mm. I, I went swimming yesterday. The water was cold. Oh, yeah. Oh, is it raining so hard? Well, the sun so hot today. So, mm. for you, to, you can be physically there during sex and not spiritually, emotionally, and mentally there. You are completely happens. absent yes. from there. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So, mm. yeah, basically that's it. So the things you can do to build on that is mm. to make sure that your partner is there, it's not there. just present mm-hmm. in the physical, mm. but present mentally. Uh, spiritually mm-hmm. and in every other aspect because mm. you also do not enjoy mm. uh, pleasuring someone who's not responding mm. to your ways of giving mm. pleasure and oh. yeah that's it wow wow so you've talked about the spiritual aspect eh? mm-hmm. and and okay from i have heard from so many people asking is it right this right to do mm-hmm. if you are christian let's first say if if you are Christian, does your Christian belief permit you to do this and this? Mm-hmm. Have you ever come across those people that some there are some intimacy lacking in their relationships simply because their spiritual form doesn't allow them? Um, their spiritual studying and beliefs doesn't allow them to do certain things? Okay. Uh, since you're talking about religion now, religion and spirituality are two different things. <laughs> religion is what you've been taught, it's the doctrine which you follow and yeah. the teachings which you follow. That mm. is religion. Yeah. It's like going to school. That is why we are in diff- there are so many different denominations, mm-hmm. even in the scripts, Christian yeah. faith. Mm-hmm. So, first of all, I need people to understand religion, put it here. Mm. Spirituality, Especially. put it here. Because I can be a non religious person. But I am very spiritual. I am in touch with my inner self, mm-hmm. my inner being, with my spiritual mm-hmm. being. Mm-hmm. And uh, religion teaches me uh, the do's and the don'ts. Sure. This is wrong, this is right. Mm-hmm. Mostly, don't do this, don't do this. You are not even told why not to do it. You mm-hmm. just told that it's wrong because it will hurt someone. Mm-hmm. someone. Mm-hmm. So, if we put religion aside and put... Just, just talk about... Yeah, just mm-hmm. talk about spirituality mm-hmm. we are spiritual beings as human beings you're spiritual beings mm. that's why people have believe in a higher power believe in a god or gods and you know yeah that is spirituality or you believe the people who believe in themselves mm-hmm. or in the universe They're sure really yeah science yeah mm-hmm. so when you when you come to sex you cannot say that my religion prohibits this and therefore I cannot do it. If you feel personally it is wrong and it is hurting you or your partner, and that is why it is very important for you to communicate. Communication is key for any kind of intimacy. Mm-hmm. Because how will you know I do not like this water if you do not if I do not tell you that I do not like uh-huh. it? So for you to be able to express full and full intimacy, you have to be very first of all open, mm-hmm. communicate, be vulnerable. Because you cannot, uh, you cannot hide yourself and be able to be fully intimate with anyone. Because how will they know when you're feeling a certain mm-hmm. way? Mm-hmm. When will they know if your feelings are hurt? When will they know that you're thinking this way? How will they know about your spiritual beliefs? Mm-hmm. How will they know that your mental capacity is up to a certain point? Mm-hmm. How will they know the baggage you're carrying? Because all of us are as a, are a product, a byproduct of things we've gone through growing up since we were children. We yeah. are a byproduct of our experiences mm-hmm. and things that we've gone through. Mm-hmm. So if you cannot be vulnerable with someone and tell them, I do not be like being touched like this because this and this has happened. Mm-hmm. I do not like you talking to me in this and this tone because my father used to do this and that. I do not like, you know, you have to be able to be vulnerable. Don't mm-hmm. put up walls and expect someone's daughter or son to come climbing, <laughs> climbing on, on wall them. <laughs> so that they can reach your heart. It yeah. is tiring, it is exhausting and it mm-hmm. is a waste of time. Mm-hmm. So save someone trouble. If this, you truly love someone, mm-hmm. You should be able to be open, tell them, okay, this is what I like, this mm-hmm. is what I don't like. Mm-hmm. So in your case where you're saying, oh, I can't do this because of this and that, sit down with your partner, make it make sense for mm-hmm. your partner. Because mm-hmm. you come and tell me, oh, my beliefs prohibit me from doing this and that. Am I able and wise and um, willing to accept that belief? and make it make sense in this relationship mm-hmm. and decide, okay, you know what, since you do not take water like this, 
okay, we will take it like this, since you, that is what you believe. Mm-hmm. Do I love you enough to be able to compromise? Because maybe it's something that I really loved from my previous relationships. Yeah. How am I going to give it up? Are you who is bringing your concept and belief into this relationship now and telling me because I believe this and that, that this is wrong? Are you willing to compromise? Are you willing to listen to a different perspective and adapt mm-hmm. different ways of doing things because you're in love or because this is what you want and mm-hmm. this is a relationship you want to build on? Wow. Yeah. wow. So you talked about being vulnerable in a relationship. Mm-hmm. So to what extent can you be vulnerable? Um, how important is it for you to be vulnerable in uh, a romantic relationship? Intimacy is built over time. Sure. So this is someone you've been with for some time. Mm-hmm. You've built this relationship. They mm-hmm. know you inside out. They yeah. know things about you that you probably don't tell other people. You mm-hmm. probably They see things in you that you probably don't even see yourself. Sure. So in this case, where now we, we know each other. We've mm-hmm. known each other for a long time. We're probably married or we've been dating for a long time. Mm-hmm. We've been intimate in a sexual uh, context. Now, vulnerability in this case means this. And in any close relationship, mm-hmm. vulnerability means... I am allowing you in my space. Mm-hmm. I am giving you meddling rights up to a certain oh. point. I'm uh-huh. giving you med- meddling rights uh-huh. that when I am wrong, mm-hmm. you have the right to call me out on my wrong. Uh-huh. You have the right to tell me, you know what, you're misbehaving, you, your tone is wrong. You know, change your tone, change your behavior, change this. I don't like how you, you dress, I don't mm-hmm. like how you, you know, just expressing, giving someone permission to sometimes take control because sometimes you lose control and you don't even realize it sure sure now vulnerability in a sexual context Mm -hmm. means that my person knows my body Mm -hmm. and for you actually in the first place for you to be able to have sex with someone Mm -hmm. you have really been vulnerable Mm -hmm. because no one likes it It is naked it's (laughs) like in in the bare context of the world it is nakedness sure you can't just walk around naked you can't you you feel vulnerable very yeah Mm -hmm. you're very exposed Mm -hmm. so actually vulnerable in this case means exposing yourself to your not partner, to your partner, mm-hmm. and not just physically. Mm-hmm. It, it, they, the, your partner sees your emotions. Mm-hmm. They're able to judge how is she feeling today, how, mm-hmm. how, why is she crying, why is she laughing. When mm-hmm. I do this, she laughs. It makes her happy. When I do that, she mm-hmm. cries. Mm-hmm. Why is she hurt? Mm-hmm. You see, this person knows your emotions. This mm-hmm. person knows your mind. They see that when you're behaving a certain way. Mm-hmm. This this could be what is happening in your mind. This could be what your thought process mm-hmm. making you to behave to behave or like that. in a certain way. Mm. It could be they look at you and they like for example now that you mentioned about religion, yeah. I am fasting. Mm, okay, yeah. They understand that I am fasting mm-hmm. because I am praying or because I am my religion dictates or because I have certain beliefs that make me want to fast. Mm-hmm. You don't go around telling everyone you're fasting. No. So you're vulnerable to this one person. Mm-hmm. That is vulnerability. You simply letting them to your Yeah, just allowing space. them. Vulnerability could mm-hmm. also mean, because what, what most people think, vulnerability means loss of control or loss of power. Mm-hmm. Loss of, you know, my, my, my input does not matter. Yeah, yeah. There's sure. that kind of vulnerability, which is negative. Mm-hmm. But now in this case, we're just talking about the positive kind of vulnerability that makes someone come in and understand you mm-hmm. for the person you are. Mm-hmm. And this is someone you tend to spend the rest of your life with, if not a long time, then the rest of your life with. Mm. Then why should they not be allowed to be in your space, to be to see you, the you that you don't see around, walking around, mm-hmm. the real you, the real you that no one else knows? Because mm-hmm. when you go out there, we all put on different masks. Sure. When you're with your parents, you're a different person from when you're with mm-hmm. your friends. Mm-hmm. From when you're with your lover, when you're with your friends, you're not with your lover. Sure. When you're with your lover, you do things that you cannot do with, in front of your parents. When mm-hmm. you're with your friends, you, sometimes you're more open and more talkative. Mm-hmm. And there are things you can say, especially about your lover to your friends. But you cannot tell them. them the lover, yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're different. That is vulnerability on mm-hmm. different levels. Levels. Yeah. Okay. So don't always take vulnerability as, oh, I am I'm so weak. Mm-hmm. I am so exposed. I cannot, I cannot, I cannot control yeah, the yeah. situation or I cannot... Um, defend myself mm. that is not good vulnerability wow wow that's the uh, that's a good a good one and this is a two way not just yeah, a one way, way. Yeah. it's a two way i can be and my partner can also be 
all right, that's so nice. No, 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 this is something else and it's happening out there. We are hearing stories of partners that they yeah, are complaining, actually it's complaining that there is no any, in, any form of intimacy between them. What's your take on that? I think in, in this case, what most people refer to mm -hmm. as, oh, we're not intimate, mm -hmm. it means we're not having sex. Yeah, we just yeah. say it for what it yeah. is, we're not having sex. <laughs> we are not having and then sex. now we can be able to sort, why are you not having <laughs> sex? You know, because first of all, mm -hmm. for a romantic relationship and in the aspect where now you're married or you're already having sex, you, you're sexually active with your partner, mm -hmm. It, I think it shocks or surprises or mm. takes someone aback mm -hmm. when you're now not longer interested. So is it that your partner does not want frequent sex? Mm -hmm. Is it that you have sex? Yes, but it is not frequent. Is it that now um, they're no longer even interested in anything to, to touch you, to give themselves to you? They're not interested. Is it that your partner... Maybe it was good in the beginning, mm -hmm. and now it has become monotonous oh. and boring. Mm -hmm. What is it exactly? So I, mm -hmm. I wish those people now. You see, those people who are asking that question, I wish people would just say, "It's just sex. We all know you're having sex. So what is it? Okay. What, what is it that you have to hide?" There was one that said that mm -hmm. there there is lacking there is lack of sex, mm -hmm. and also when it's happening, in that once once happening, it's not that let's say quality sex. Yani. Kwa, if I may use her words at the same hakuna ata ile kutayarishwa, you know, it's just a sex and bus. Okay, first of all, equality, munapima quality. Equality, munapima na nini. You know, sometimes you go out there and you talk about your partner, but sisa, unatuambia sisi out here. It's good to talk, it's, it's very important to talk mm -hmm. about it. I'm mm -hmm. not saying that it is wrong for them to, you know, talk mm -hmm. about something that they're going through. Mm -hmm. Have you talked to that partner? Because I feel like, okay, say we are married. Mm -hmm. So if you, we got married at a certain age, say now people get married at to, between 25 to 30. Mm -hmm. Say we, our lifespan is up to 70, 70 years. years. So we have approximately mm -hmm. uh, between 40 to 50 years. For both of us. <laughs> are we going to be doing what we did the first, our wedding night? Mm -hmm. Is that something that we're going to be doing? When we're building on different aspects of intimacy. Mm -hmm. You see, um, partners have a tendency, you can talk about business, you're going to buy a car, you're going to buy a home. Mm -hmm. What about sex? Yeah. Do you ever sit down with your partner and tell them, oh, you know, yesterday you touched my hair, mm. I didn't like it, please touch my foot next time, you know? Mm -hmm. Do you ever sit and tell your partner, okay, touch me here, don't touch me there. Mm -hmm. Do you, as a partner who's touching you, mm -hmm. partner, do you touch them and watch out for their reaction? Because, you see, when you're communicating, mm -hmm. it does not always have to be verbal. Mm -hmm. When you touch me here, mm -hmm. how, how is my reaction? Mm. When you come and touch me, you, you see the way she says that she's not prepared. Yeah. Does the partner know that she's not prepared? I don't know. Okay, I'm sure he knows, but what is he doing? Mm. Has Okay, first of all, let's talk about her who's expressing the issue. Mm. Herself, has she, me, I, I would like to know, has she talked to the partner and told them, mm -hmm. okay, you can prepare me? Has he been, been preparing her? And now just assumes whenever I touch you, ah, to end the Twende, you yeah, you know, you know, like, <laughs> you know, Misha, you know, so that, you know, yeah. why is it that this partner feels that it is not necessary? Because that is very selfish. Mm. I feel personally, I don't know if everyone would agree, but I feel it's very selfish mm. that you would think that like, you know, even food, for you to have a good, nice plate of food, you go to the kitchen, you cut exactly. tomatoes, you cut onions, mm -hmm. you fry them, you prepare oil, them well, you, cover, you, you add, add cover, spices, you add spices, you add water. Mm. Why do you expect that you bought potatoes, you bought tomatoes, and you put them there on your kitchen counter? You go to the market and you come back and expect a <laughs> How does that even make sense? Ah, it doesn't. Tumukiza, umeyekelea kwa moto, umeka chuli, umeka, you know? Makocho pocho, umechonga viazi, umeka takata nyanya. You don't expect things to magically just happen. Mm -hmm. So, talk to your partner. Communication mm -hmm. is key. When you're touching your partner, mm -hmm. please know your partner's body. Please know your partner's body. Because I don't think, at the point where now we're having sex, I don't see where shyness and embarrassment comes in mm -hmm. because I already have allowed you to have sex with me. Sure. That is the most vulnerable thing that you ever do. So mm -hmm. shyness out the window. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So please communicate. For her, I would advise her communicate. Communicate. Yeah. Wow. So uh, as we wind up, eh? mm -hmm. uh, maybe we, you could touch on what what can partners do to improve their sex drive. 
inti mase tu ndio tuchungane na hayo mambo ya kusema ti i was never prepared and the sex is not frequent it's not quality actually so maybe you could touch on and on on that part know your uh, knowing your partner's body some something like that okay so the number one and for me most important thing communicate mm-hmm. if you do not like it you do not like it you do not have to pretend to like it for them mm-hmm. how long are you going to pretend and that is how you find now i have to cheat because now you're not touching me you're not preparing me mm-hmm. but i have met someone who eh, is a pro professor at, pro, <laughs> at preparation you know? but is that just that, that no, just not justifiable and that is why i'm saying hey. can you communicate okay because if i communicate you see mm-hmm. Now that we're married, mm. I'm never expecting to have sex. I'm never expected to have sex with anyone. Else. Sure. You are never expected to have sex with anyone. Else. Yeah, 100%. Why is it that the one thing that you cannot take and do elsewhere? Mm. We are ashamed or shy mm-hmm. to talk about. Mm-hmm. Even your parents gave me permission, the church gave me permission if you are Christian. <laughs> Even you the know, government. The government has given you, you have a certificate from yeah. the government to go and have sex with uh-huh. the rest of your, of your life. So why are you embarrassed to talk about mm. it? Communicate me. I think the major thing for me mm. communicate. Communication. Say what you want, mm-hmm. say what you don't want. Mm-hmm. Experiment until you cannot experiment anymore. Mm-hmm. This this internet, there are books read. Mm-hmm. Do all those things. Go, you go. Let's say today it's your this week it's your week. Mm-hmm. Go and research. Bring it here. Say, oh, this is what I found. Mm-hmm. Okay, let us eat it. Is it good? Mm-hmm. Okay, yes, it's good for me. Where was it bad for you? Mm-hmm. This and that. Mm-hmm. Then, now, if it was good, let us carry forth and we'll be doing it. And now, you don't take this one thing that you found and decide for the rest of our life, this is how it's going to be. We are going As to do missionary. <laughs> missionary for the rest of the life. Oh, my God. Yeah. That is, it's, yeah, that is boring. So, mm-hmm. be creative. Mm-hmm. Be be eager to learn from each other mm-hmm. because i think the most common mistake people make is mm-hmm. that you assume that uh, this is a woman i have handled 50 women mm-hmm. so all women they can be had on... being touched so i will touch your head from now on so they like their yeah. tongues on ears oh please no no please you people please you stop guys your please stop in our ears. Please. <laughs> we don't like that oh no 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 guys no <laughs> please that one, uh, 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 we refuse that yeah. one. You ought to make a tap. Please, please, please. It's disgusting, it's uncomfortable. I don't know if anyone likes it personally. No. Mm. no, 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 no. It's a no, it's a no, please. Yeah, so now that is communication. Yeah. Now someone, whoever <laughs> my person is out there knows, Mimi Maskeyangu, no? It's a no. So after we communicate with your partner and hear out whether they like their tongues yeah, or nails. And I think it's high time we stop treating sex as a taboo. Mm-hmm. Sex is not a taboo. Sex is a beautiful thing. It is God-given. If God did not intend for us to find pleasure mm-hmm. with our bodies, we would not feel the way we, how sure. it feels when sure, we have sex. Sure, sure. Sex is pleasurable, sex is fun, it is so much fun, and sex is the most amazing thing because you will never exhaust it. Mm-hmm. You will never exhaust it. You can try a new style every day, three times a day, and you will never exhaust sex. Mm. It's amazing, and it can be a fun and exciting adventure. Wow. Yeah. So with that, I think we we cruise it for today. And just like she has said, that it's, sex is a gift from God, actually. And... It's true that God in heaven, who are na kirapia mikono when you're doing it right with your partner. Thank you. Remember to comment, share, subscribe. And when you subscribe, please hit the notification bell so you can be notified every time we post a video. Don't be shy about the questions you ask. Ask us any question. We won't be shy to answer. And don't worry, we'll answer them anonymously. We won't mention your names. We'll just cover all your questions anonymously. And we hope to give you a wholesome and exciting experience. Welcome. Thank you. Remember to share with your friends, parents, neighbors, yeah. everybody. Welcome on board. Most importantly, watch with your partner. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Remember to tag your partner there. Karibu. <laughs> the subscription button. It's somewhere here. The red, it's written subscribe in red. Hit the bell so you can be notified anytime we have a new video. Uh, Like, share, comment, leave your questions.